Hello friends, this video on Atom and Molecules part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. See in the real world we have so many compounds. Okay, and the compounds are like water. Water is a compound. Or let's suppose ammonia. Or sulfuric acid. Some common compound which we use, I am just writing it down. Or methane, methane gas. So these compounds, there has to be some way to write this in the chemical world because water consists of, we know, hydrogen and oxygen. Ammonia consists of nitrogen, hydrogen. Sulfuric acid consists of hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen. Methane consists of carbon and hydrogen, right? And water has two hydrogen, one oxygen. Ammonia has one nitrogen, three hydrogen. Right? Sulfuric acid has two hydrogen, one sulfur and four oxygen. Methane has one carbon and four hydrogen. We, we know all this, we know the name, we know that compound has these many uh, atoms. So there has to be some way to write it, to understand this uh, water easily or to write a chemical reaction. There has to be some way to represent this water in a better form. So to understand this water in better form, we have to understand a concept called valency. For example, water is represented as H2O, ammonia as NH3, sulfuric acid as H2SO4, and methane as CH4. So, looking at the formula, you can actually tell that one water molecule has two hydrogen and one oxygen. One ammonia has one nitrogen, three hydrogen. One sulfuric acid has Molecule has two hydrogen, one sulfur, and four oxygen atoms. One methane molecule has one carbon and four hydrogen atoms. Pretty easy, right? See, everybody has a name. You have you have a name. Your school has a name. Everything has a name. Name is just to oh, recognize that. If I say that this video is from Exam Fear, Exam Fear has a name. You can make out okay. This video is from Exam Fear. This is a brand. Similarly, you must be having some name. Rohit, Shobhit, so many names. You must be having Tom, John, so many names. So these water molecules or these compounds also has a name. And these names are water, ammonia, sulfuric acid. And chemical representation is H2O, NH3, H2O4, CH4, like that. Now we have to understand how to write this. Why water molecule is H2O? Why it is not OH2? If it has only one oxygen and two hydrogen, we can even write it like this, right? So why it is that these names or these chemical formula is used to represent water? Why H2O is used to represent water? Why not OH2? So we'll understand that. To understand that, let's understand the concept of valency. See, valency is nothing but combining capacity of an element. I'll write this as Combining capacity of living, right? This is valency. Okay, so the combining capacity or the combining power of an element is called valency. Or you can visualize this as the hands of atom. For example, there is one atom here, oxygen. It has two hands. And from these two hands, it can pluck one hydrogen each. So you'll get what? See, human has two hands. Octopus has eight hands. Right? Or snake, there is no hand in the snake. Similarly, you can visualize these uh, the valency as of now as hands of a particular atom, right? 
सल्फर हैज बिगर हैंड एच सी एल एच सी एल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड हैज फोर हैंड्स एक्चुअली टू हैंड्स विद टू हैंड विल बाइंड ऑक्सीजन एंड अदर टू हैंड्स विल बाइंड अदर ऑक्सीजन और इफ इट हैज टू बाइंड हाइड्रोजन ऑल द फोर हैंड्स विल बाइंड वन हाइड्रोजन ईच यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दीज थिंग्स इन डिटेल इन द हायर क्लासेस फॉर दिस क्लास दिस अंडरस्टैंड दैट और दिस विजुलाइज valency as the hands of atoms right some element shows more than one valency for example iron iron sometimes bind with two chlorine sometimes iron binds with three chlorine so these are different case and we'll explain these things in the higher classes based on the stability so the higher classes will talk about stability of a particular atom i think in the next chapter when we discuss more about that and i'll try to touch upon that but in the higher classes you will understand these in more detail why iron exist as fecl2 and fecl3 both or iron has two hands and three bands together right so so this is all about chemical formula chemical formula is a formula to represent a particular chemical for example water is represented as h2o ammonia is nh3 sulfuric acid is the acid as h2so4 methane as ch4 hydrochloric acid as hcl it is a way to represent the chemical compound it is very useful in the case of chemical reaction For example you can say that c plus o2 is co2 you can write a balanced chemical reaction okay so there has to be some rules to write chemical formula let's understand the rules to write chemical formula For example, when you write A B C D, there is a rule. A has to be like this, B has to be like this, and with these letters, actually, you form words and then sentences, and the whole English grammar is based on these twenty-six letters. So here also we have some rules to write uh, chemical formula. The first one is the valency or the charge on iron must be balanced. You write here. The valency that is the combining capacity we have told, or charge on iron must be balanced. Let me write it first, and then we we'll see what it is. Right now, as I told, why H two O? Why not O H two? Right. so there is a rule for that so if the compound has metal and non metal both then metal symbol is written first metal symbol written first written first if it has both metal and non metal example calcium oxide we don't write co we don't write oca We first write calcium, then oxide. Sodium chloride. We don't write ClNa. We write NaCl. Sodium is metal. Chlorine is non-metal. Right? Copper oxide. First copper, then oxygen. Oxygen is non-metal. Copper is metal. Right? Metal will be on the left hand side. Then non-metal. Metal, non-metal. When you talk about metal, non-metal. Typically, we first say metal and then non-metal. Similarly, here also first metal and then non-metal. Okay. Third is sometimes the compound is formed with polyatomic ion. In that case, the ion is enclosed in a bracket. Before you write the number of Before you write the number to indicate the ratio, for example, I write this off. This is only in case of polyatomic ion. So in this case, it has to be written in bracket. Okay. Any example you think for this? So for example. C A O H two A L two S O four three. So in this case, if you see this O H is a polyatomic ion, 
S O four is a polyatomic ion. We'll talk about this. We'll talk. We'll we'll see examples, right? So this is a polyatomic ion. So we have put the bases here. So here actually, when you talk about the first formula, S O four will have a charge of minus two, right? And aluminium will have a charge of plus three. So if you see the net charge in the left-handed metal will be plus three into two is plus six. And similarly, the net charge on the right-hand side non-metal part ion part will be minus two into three is minus six. So the net charge is same, and that is the first rule, and that's why we have this formula. Second rule, metal is written first. So if you see here, aluminium is written first. Here, calcium is written first. And since there is polyatomic ion, this whole polyatomic ion is put in place. Okay, so three rules. Remember the valency, the charge of the ion must be balanced. That is the first rule. For example, you write the formula of HCl. Let's suppose hydrogen has the charge of plus one, Cl has the charge of minus one. So you put like this one and one. So the formula will be HCl. If you make water, hydrogen has the charge of plus one, oxygen has the charge of minus two. Put like this, minus two comes here. Plus one comes here without any charge, and formula you get is H. Two is here, two then O. Similarly with H two S, hydrogen, sulfur, plus one charge, minus two charge, minus two comes here, plus one comes here. So the formula you get is H two, and then S. There are so many examples. Let's take of Mg Mg Cl2. So Mg has the charge of plus two, Cl has the charge of minus one. It goes here, it comes here. You get Mg Cl2. So in this all this case, if you see the valency is balanced. To balance the valency, what we're doing is there's a minus two charge. So we'll take double of this. There's a plus one charge. We'll take only second. Okay. A good example is. Aluminium, oxygen. Aluminium has a charge of plus three. Oxygen has charge of plus minus two. You put two here, you put three here. What you get is Al two O three. This is the compounding. So in this case, if you see the charge is balanced. So if you see the aluminium charge was plus three. Oxygen was minus two. On the left hand side, the charge is plus three into two is plus six. And right hand side, you get minus two into three is minus six. So plus six and minus six overall it is zero. In all these cases, you see the metal is written first. Hydrogen is both metal and non-metal. I'm not sure, but the metallic, non-metallic character of calcium and oxygen is more than hydrogen, so hydrogen is written first. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.